logging of California's giant redwood trees is a big job. For the redwood trees of California are probably the oldest of living things. All of the world's history since Christ was born could have occurred during the life of perhaps one of these redwoods. So down they come, some of the world's oldest, biggest, and tallest trees. Okay, so we made a huge mistake. Our fathers and grandfathers and great-grandfathers. We stole our children and our grandchildren to come's heritage. What can we do to fix it? Six years ago, it was decided by the board members of Champion Tree that we would try and gather the information and knowledge to rebuild the world's first redwood old growth forest to start to bring it back. But when we said we were going to start working with the redwoods, something happened, an explosion, Bill, in interest. They are big, they are tall, they last a long time, and beyond that, not everybody reports this, but most people report a feeling of great well-being among redwoods. Magic. They're magic. People feel great about them. There's a very strong emotional image in people's minds of longevity, immortality, and beauty and grace that has been attributed to the redwoods. So we said, well, why don't we start with the redwoods because of its global appeal. They're the trees that touch the hearts and the minds. We've gathered the climbers. Hey Dan? Yeah. Can you put my flip line on here? On the green? Put it on this blue one right here. Uh, it takes a very high level of technical skill to be able to climb the tallest living things on earth. All your life! All right. What we have to gather is at the top of these trees on the end of the branches. So it's a very dangerous climb to gather the tissue from the biggest old growth redwoods in the region. In a timeline, when Christopher Columbus came to America, those trees were already four or 500 years old. We have sawn down 97% of all old growth redwoods. There's 3% left. Of that 3% that's left, there's only 10% that's protected. 90% of it could fall to the axe or the chainsaw today. So that's three tenths of 1%, which is left of a forest that was here for 10,000 years. Now, if you were down to three tenths of 1% of gasoline for your car, if you were down to three tenths of 1% of your life savings, or if you were down to three, three tenths of 1% of your lifespan, wouldn't it be time to do something? We're going to get 10 inch long pieces of this year's new growth. Headaches. So they're going to go to the very tops and gather 10 inch long pieces of new growth. Several hundred of those from several different trees. Trees that are 1,000 to 1,200 years old. and we will put them on ice and we'll rush them, overnight them, to the propagator so that they can start asking these things to replicate themselves. Oh yeah, we got, we got it now. Okay. Two years from tomorrow, those trees will be ready to come back to start the reforestation projects and we'll have old growth forest trees.
We are planning on putting the first old growth redwood forest in downtown San Francisco. For 11,000 years, it was an old growth redwood forest. Only in the last few hundred years has it been a city. So in parks there and open spaces, we're going to put back so people can see that you can rebuild old growth forests. It can be done just because we lost them doesn't mean that they're lost forever. I think that's pretty exciting. <laughs> well, it's quite a treat. So are you confident that you're going to succeed with replanting a redwood forest? 110%. If 100% was certainty, it's 110. Ta-da! The impossible just takes longer. David Milner.